Okay, and with Richard Hill, um, it finished 1-0 to Eastleigh. How, uh, how impressive was your team today, did you think? I thought, I thought that was the best we've played all season. Um, we looked relaxed. I think the last few weeks we've looked a bit nervy, a bit edgy. Uh, but tonight we looked very relaxed and we passed the ball. And we just kept the ball moving and kept the ball, kept the opposition moving as well. And I thought tonight, especially the first half, was, was probably the best, the best football we've played this season, without any shadow of a doubt. Like you said, you had the um, majority of the possession, majority of the chances. I think you hit both posts in the crossbar in the first half alone. Were you disappointed that it was only 1-0 at half-time? Yeah, because, you know, it's like that at the end there where it breaks out in midfield. A lot of rifles, it, you know, you could take a ricochet some, and then you end up drawing a game that you, you should have won. And, you know, we, I, I, I think to say tonight, you know, we've had a couple of chances that, you know, we, we've overcomplicated things. But I think tonight you... Um, you know, they could have been said to us or accused of, of, of not taking our chances, but uh, again, the, the opposition's goalkeeper's probably been man of the match. Um, we've hit the bar, I think it's hit the lad's head and hit the bar, and then we've hit the bar. So, yeah, you can take your chances, but sometimes fate deals you to not a great hand. And tonight, you know, another night we'd have, we'd have gone in 3 4 0. Um, and deserve so, but you know, give, give, give them a bit of credit, they're still going at the end, and why it's 1 0, teams are going to do that. Um, like you say, Chelsea have played uh, very well, especially defensively, and their goalkeeper was superb, but were you expecting a bit more of a, an attacking threat after their win against Bromley? Were you expecting, especially their confidence being high? Um, the thing is, in this league, you don't know what to expect, um, and we've seen a lot of, a lot of games here in, in the vein of tonight where we've done all the attacking and um, the opposition have, have got nice shape behind the football, and it's hard to break them down. And you're searching for that goal, and you know it's 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 a good finish there from from Reece. But it's a good set piece, it's a good corner, and there's been a, I mean Greener's corners tonight were crikey. Um, we've got the Greener back of old tonight, haven't we? Um, bless him. Um, so you know that's you, you look at things like that, uh, but it's. The, the, the pattern of the game tonight has been no different for me to the pattern of any game this season we've had at home, where we've had all the play and teams just try to hit us on the break. Um, Dan Spence picked up the man in the match today, but would you say there could have been 11 candidates today? Um, Spence, for me, Spence has been man in the match at times when he hasn't received um, the award, you know. So, um, and, and for me tonight, it's, he has played better than that, in my opinion. But. You, you know what you get with Dan Spence, and um, he, he, he's, he's a right back. He plays right back, and he just gets on with his job. Comes to work, and he just gets on with his job. No airs and graces about him. Doesn't draw attention to himself. And you, the time you notice Dan Spence is when you actually haven't got him. Uh, but tonight, um, he was fantastic. So Dean was good. Uh, Dylan, I thought the back four were excellent tonight. That's brilliant. Thank you, Richard, and well done today. Yes, thank you very much.